If you're looking for some gamer fuel, go and use my code over at gamersubs.gg for 10% off your order. Thank you. G'day guys and girls and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you a simple card duplication that still works as of September 2022. Make sure you check the title and the description. I'll update both of these if it does get patched. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it. <laughs> Now this duplication does not require custom plates. If you have them, it'll make it a lot quicker and easier, which I'll explain later. Now if you want custom plates and you don't know how to get them, check the description below, I'll link a video. So to start this off, there are a lot of prerequisites. To replicate everything I do in this video, you'll need a facility, an Avenger with a vehicle workshop, an office with a garage, and a car to duplicate. Now the best bang for your buck will be the arena vehicles, they are also a large expense but you'll make your money back easily if you do this right don't forget to upgrade it as much as you can the more upgrades on the car the more it will sell for the best example is a fully upgraded issy classic will sell for almost 2 million each time i have removed my back mortar to show you the plates on the car so mine does sell for a little less and you'll also want an moc if you want to store your vehicle later when you're done so once all those bases are covered you need to ensure the office garage you'll be using is completely full. Now I've gone and filled my garage one in my office up with free cars like banshees and allergies. Now for your facility you'll want two free cars that will be used for the glitch such as a banshee or an allergy. You'll want your desired dupe car in the facility as well and then you fill up the other four spots with any other vehicle that does not matter. Now for the purpose of this video I will be using these two green banshees as the expendable dupe cars and then the other four cars down the other end of the facility are black allergies that's just to avoid any confusion just to make it easier for you guys now let's not waste any more time and let's get into the method follow exactly what i do i'll try and explain it the best i can so you want to start off by entering the vehicle you want to dupe in your facility now hit the button to enter your avenger and then you're going to want to change one thing on that vehicle can be absolutely anything and then exit the Avenger. Now you're going to get out of the vehicle and you want to get straight back in and then drive out of your facility. Once you're out, exit the car and return that vehicle to storage using the interaction menu. Now call your mechanic and request any car. It can literally be any vehicle, does not matter at all. Just make sure it's not from your facility or from the full garage that we'll be using later. And once that car is spawned in, you just want to jump in it and drive it right into the facility. Now hit yes on that prompt that pops up and once you've loaded in, you're just going to replace one of those four random cars with that car. Now these vehicles will simply be swapped so it doesn't really matter what cars you use, it serves no purpose, nothing will happen to these vehicles. Once you've done that, you'll spawn back in the facility and you want to run straight back up to the car you are duping and hop back in. Now you're going to enter the Avenger once again and this is where it starts to glitch out. Now if you've done all this correctly so far, you should arrive inside the Avenger without a vehicle. Now once this happens, you want to quickly make your way to the cockpit and you'll wait around five seconds so one two three four five and then hit enter now your screen should flicker and then a couple seconds later you should arrive in an empty facility now you want to sit tight and wait a couple more seconds and it should just boot you right out of the facility now if it doesn't actually boot you out you can just leave the facility as you normally would now once you're out you're going to call your mechanic and you're going to ask for the free car that you're wanting to turn into the duped car so in my case it's one of those green banshees i showed earlier the one that i had parked next to the issy class now it doesn't matter where this spawns in as you're not going to touch the vehicle at all, just leave it. Now since that's your personal vehicle and we need to get to our office garage, we cannot call in another personal vehicle. So to get there, you're either going to have to steal an NPC car, job teleport, or call in a buzzard or sparrow, which is what I've done. Now if you fly over, it should only take you a minute. And once you're at your CEO garage, you're going to hop out and quickly grab any NPC vehicle. Now you're going to take it to your garage and you've got to be ready. So you're going to drive this thing into your garage and you want to select the one that 
that's full of your throwaway cars, the garage that you're using for this glitch. And then you're going to spam A, X, or Enter, depending on what platform you're on, of course. And if you do this right, you do it fast enough, it should spawn you back in your facility. Now, if you've gotten this far, that's great. So what you want to do next is get back into the car you're trying to duplicate. Once you're inside, you want to enter the workshop, not the Avenger, and change one thing on the car. Now, when you exit out, the car next to you should now be a perfect dupe. And that's as far as it goes. But I must mention that sometimes this isn't 100%. I'm not sure what causes it. It might be the way you leave the car. Maybe one of the options determines whether it works on this step or not. Not 100%, but sometimes it does not dupe. Now, if you get to this stage and the car next to you isn't a dupe of the one, you know, you're trying to duplicate, I'll show you some gameplay of it happening to me on screen. Now, to fix this, all you have to do is get back in your car, enter the Avenger, just change one thing, and then hit exit the Avenger, and that should confirm the dupe if it didn't work originally. And that's it. If you have custom plates, this is the entire process. It should be clean, and you could do whatever you want with your new vehicle. If you want to save it, drive it into your MOC. If you want to sell it, go ahead. And as you can see on screen, I'm not using custom plates, so this has resulted in a dirty dupe, as both ISIs have the same number plate. Now, you don't want to sell this, because the game will flag it, and it will prevent you from selling vehicles in the future. So for those of you who don't have custom plates, let me show you how you can actually turn this car into a clean dupe. And to do that, we will be making use of this other free car by transferring the number plate from it over to the dirty dupe, making it clean. So to start the cleaning process, you want to get into the free car and then enter the Avenger. Now you're gonna change one thing on the car, hit exit the Avenger. And once you're out, you wanna get back in the car and drive out of the facility. Now, just like before, you're going to leave your car, return it to storage, and then call your mechanic, and you're going to get him to drop off literally any vehicle from any other garage. You're going to take that car and drive it back into the facility and replace any of those four other vehicles. Now, once you're back in the facility, you need to get back into the free car, into the Avenger, and just like before, you should appear without a vehicle. Now, you want to repeat exactly what we did earlier. You're going to run to the front, count to five, and then enter the cockpit. Now, once again, you're going to wait for it to kick you out of the Avenger and then just kick you straight out of the facility. Now, this is where it's different. You want to call the mechanic and this time you want to request the dirty dupe vehicle from the facility. So this is the second issue on my list. The first is obviously the original car and the second is the dirty dupe. So I'm going to call it in and then leave it exactly where it spawns and you're going to make your way over to your garage again. So you can either job teleport or call in a buzzard. Now, you're going to repeat that process of stealing an NPC car and driving it into your garage. So that's spamming A on Xbox, X on PlayStation, or Enter on PC. Now, once again, if you've done it right, you should be back in your facility. Now, to complete the cleaning process, you just want to jump back in that free car, go into the workshop, and change one thing. Now, exit the vehicle and get into your dirty dupe. Now, you can see the plate number on the back. Now, keep an eye on that, because when I drive out, it changes. And that, my friends, is how you can completely clean your dirty dupes. Now you can go and safely sell this thing if you want, or if you want to keep it, of course, call in your MOC and drive it into the back to save it. Now something very important to note is that the free car in your facility can't be used anymore because if you clean another dirty dupe with that car, it's going to have the same plate as this one. And of course that means if you've got the same plate, it is dirty. So make sure you go and grab two new free cars to fill the spot where the issue was and to replace the car you used for the plate. Now, of course, guys, remember to sell carefully, only one every hour or so, and make sure you don't sell more than seven in a 30-hour period. Now, please like the video if it helps, subscribe if you want to be notified when a much easier method is, of course, discovered. I'll never post something if it doesn't work, so you have my word. Now, check out my other uploads if you're looking for some easier ways to make some money, and I hope to see you in future videos. Take care, guys. Peace.